Okay. Cool. Hope it doesn't fall. Stay. Okay. Hey y'all, it's Savannah and First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for all the people who have subscribed within the past month because, wow, it's a, it's a lot of people. <laughs> um, so hi to everyone that is new. Um, today I'm going to take you guys with me to go see Navi. She is 32 days old, 32 days old now, and she's freaking huge. So, I'm going to have, like, a big hippo when she gets older. I can already see it. She's going to be a big, sassy hippo. My dancing hippo. <laughs> Anyways, I figured I'd take you guys along with me because she has gotten bigger and she has, like, basically unfolded a little more. And she's starting to look more like a foal and less like a little anorexic little twiggy thing. So, she definitely is filled out a lot more since the last time you guys saw her. So I just figured I would do a little progress video that, you know, anyone can see or well, I can look back on a couple years from now maybe and just be like, oh, I remember when you were so sweet and little and now you're like a big demon. So hopefully that won't be the case. But for those of you that don't know, I got a foal and yeah, this is, this is my first foal so I've never done it. And to catch you up to speed, I'll put some cards up here on why I'm getting a new foal and what she looked like at 12 hours old i guess going to meet her for the first time are you guys meeting her for the first time so be sure to check that out if you're interested if not it's cool so enough of me talking let's go see the foal the baby horse Hiding Navi, and I don't know how big she is. Hey, where's your little mini me at? Hi, hi, Zooks. Oh my gosh, you monster! What are you doing? Hi. She's like, no, get away from me. That's so big you're starting to you're starting to shut out your baby fluff. Hey guys, I just figured I would kind of narrate this a little bit. 
So a lot of the times, actually all the time right now, we just kind of work with her in the stall just because it's easier and it's a smaller space and it's harder for her to kind of run away because she's still, because she's young enough, she's still kind of in that flighty mode where she doesn't quite want to get touched out in the field. So it just makes it easier to do it in the stall where there's not so many far away places she can run to. And you can see here, I'm just petting her and just getting her used to being touched everywhere. She actually has some scratchy spots on her withers and on the front of her chest and her rump. She loves getting scratched. As you can see, she really, really likes it. Um, and if you notice the way I move her around, I have one hand in front of her chest and the other on her rump and I just kind of push and pull her around because she's still too young to kind of pull her around by her head, even though she does have a halter on. We only have the halter on when she's supervised in the stall, just getting her used to it, jingling and jangling on her face. That's why both of the ends aren't really tucked in because we just kind of slip it on for a little while. Here you can see I'm kind of pushing her back against the wall because I'm going to pick her feet up. And sometimes they like to go up and backwards, kind of like a little backwards rear. And they're not balanced enough to really stay up when they do that. So you just kind of put their butt against the wall to kind of keep them from flipping over and hurting themselves. And here I'm going to pick up her leg, which she was not very happy about. And she tries to get away and I'm able to kind of hold her back with my arm and stick with it until I run her back into another wall. And mom is so good. She just she's just like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? And so she sits there fine, you know, reward her, tell her she's a good girl. And then another good thing about putting them on the wall like this is when you touch their hind legs, their natural reaction is to kick. So when I pick her leg up here, the water bucket's in the way, so it's hard to see, but she actually kicks the barn and she's like, ow, that hurt. And I pick it right back up and she does absolutely nothing. So it's a really good way to teach them when they're that young not to kick when you pick up their hind legs because she kicks the wall. It doesn't feel very good and she's less likely to do it again next time. I tell her she's a good girl and I just start rubbing her all over again. And as you can see, she's so sassy. She's not very happy with her predicament, but I'm sure she's going to get used to it. And then here I'm just jingling and jangling the halter, just getting her used to having that moved around and, you know, just moving on her face and mom's going to pee now well i hope you guys enjoyed this video as you can see navi's gotten pretty big and sassy so we will see what she's going to be like in the next few months next few years hopefully she won't be too much worse hopefully she won't be so sassy doubt it but nothing like a sassy horse to keep you grounded just wanted to let you guys know that she's doing well and she's growing very big both horizontally and vertically hi there um i forgot to film the rest of the outro my camera cut off and i didn't realize it so here i am yay here's a goofy picture of navi to make up for it um be sure to let me know if you liked this video be sure to subscribe if you want to follow mine and navi's little journey of probably a lot of trial and error and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye